Hey, what's happening, guys? Hope you had a good weekend and uh, a good Monday, because uh, it's Tuesday now. But uh been playing around on the radio, as you guys know. Had some fun. Uh, this past weekend was the uh, Ohio QSO party, and my club went out to a remote location. We operated remotely. Remotely in a remote location. How about that? So it was a lot of fun. And... Uh, it's been a long time since I've done any Morse code. Like, I'm talking when I was 11 years old and joined the Boy Scouts, we learned Morse code. Uh, in the radio world, in the ham radio world, they call it CW for continuous wave. So I thought it might just be fun to listen to it and um, figure out a way to translate it. And, of course, the way to do it is with an Arduino. And there are, you know, a 100 sketches out there to do it. So I picked this one because I think what's kind of neat about it is this little audio biasing circuit that the guy who built it designed. And his name is, um, oh, I'm going to say this really badly. So if he ever watches this, I apologize. Jalmar Skolvholm Hansen, uh, call sign Oscar Zulu 1 Juliet Hotel Mike. So he designed this this whole thing, and it's based on the uh, Getzel algorithm, which determines the length and spacing between dots and dashes, or dits and dots, as they're called, and figures out the letters. Now, one thing I could not get to work with his uh, code was it has a, a, a function for a speaker. If I tried it with the speaker, it just tended to hang up. It's probably just drawn a little too much current for the Arduino with this speaker. Probably with a small piezo element, it would work just fine. But uh, let's talk about this biasing circuit, which I really think is pretty cool. Let me find a pen. Okay, so we have our signal coming in through this uh, eighth inch called a headphone jack. And what do we know about an audio signal? Oh, this is our zero line. We know that an audio signal kind of looks like that. It's most definitely AC. It crosses above and below the, Ar the uh, zero line. And what do we know about our Arduino? Well, we know it doesn't like negative voltages. So what Jalmar... Uh, man, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Has design here. It's just a simple little bias circuit. And it looks like this. These are 10K, but they're even. So you could use anything you want. Basically... What they're doing is they're creating a, a 2.5 volt point right here. Then we have this. This is a 100 nanofarad cap. This blocking any DC coming in over that. So we're getting that straight AC coming into here. And it's being coupled at this 2.5 volt DC. This goes to uh, pin analog 1. And this is the audio in. And it's really that simple. He has some adjustments in the code that you can do, adjusting the frequency up or down um, to, make, to make this more, more accurate. But you're probably going to want to do that in the radio itself as well to try and zero beat the signal. So this is, it, it's super simple. Like I said, it uses that Getzel algorithm that is able to determine, well, in, in CW, you know, there are dots and dashes called dits and dots. And a dit, okay, a da rather, should be three times as long as a dit. So the Getzel algorithm figures that out. And of course, you know, you know the most famous Morse code, which is dot, 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 dash, 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 
dot 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 that's SOS you know save our ship but uh, there's still a lot of Morse code activity going on over the radio waves and they're pretty cool so I'm gonna take this as a basis for a larger project and what I'm hoping to do is build the other side of this and build a Morse code keyer so that perhaps I could key in with a standard ASCII keyboard and it will output Morse code shouldn't be that hard but uh, <laughs> saying that now I just doomed myself so if you want to take a better look at the circuit here we can zoom in let me flip this over so uh, there so what we have is um, one 10k resistor here and it's going to the 5 volt line of the Arduino we have the other 10k resistor going to ground and then that ground line is also tied in to the ground of the uh, audio connector so our audio signal comes in and is decoupled through this 100 nano cap here it goes to this voltage divider point right here where this voltage is now 2.5 volts and then goes back out coupled around 2.5 volts into the Arduino's analog one pin so what it's basically doing is instead of this being AC centered around zero our signal is now AC centered around 2.5 volts so if our signal you know is now like this you know this is 5 volts up here and this is 0 volts down here again when we're dealing with electricity and electronics it's really all a matter of potential and 0 can be or ground can be anywhere that you want it to be as long as everything references the same point that's kind of the beauty of it so there it is it's all put together let's uh hop on over the computer real quick and we'll take a look at it in action with a little uh, demonstration program again this is basically just the beginnings of a project just thought I'd share it with you okay we got to go handheld for this last part here I apologize for that but uh you can see what we've got going on here is the Morse code translator it is uh, from HTTPS colon slash slash Morse code dot scphillips.com slash translator HTML so you type in a message it outputs the code you can see it in light or sound I'm choosing just a sound so let's take a listen to it here real quick I'll turn it up a little bit so you can hear it better but there you go you get the idea so we will plug our Morse code translator into the output there and we'll give it a play and you can see it is working hello YouTube Now it doesn't have anything to like clear the screen or anything like that at this point, but there are a lot more things we can do. This is just uh, basically a proof of concept to see if it works. And I personally think it's pretty cool. So if you guys like it and think it's pretty cool, why don't you give it a thumbs up for me? Comment, share. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.